So you recently worked on Pepperwood's Master Family Office Initiative. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what are some of the key elements as that relates to private equity? The key behind the Master Family Office is it helps family offices and multifamily offices um, syndicate deals amongst um, the different offices. Um, it also helps um, uh, with uh, regulatory risk exposure. As Dodd-Frank um, starts to implement, there's a grave concern that many of the family offices are going to begin qualifying as um, regulatable institutions, possibly even be considered broker-dealers um, as they syndicate different types of uh, investments amongst themselves even. So, and uh, you know, before it used to be that if one member of a family wanted to get into business with another member of the family, they would both, both co-invest in a vehicle. Um, as Dodd-Frank um, uh, rolls forward, that type of activity might actually have to be regulated in the future. So to, to move on to more of a global issue, Pepperwood does a lot of work with Russia. Yes. What's a major reason why private equity is still kind of wanting to do deals there? Yeah, Russia is really interesting right now. It's got a really young, vibrant investment community and investment banking community. And um, when you go over there and really meet with all of the top tier um, banks, um, you'll find that you're sitting across the table from a guy, from a guy that's probably between the ages of 28 and 35. Um, whereas a ch chief investment officer in the United States is going to be uh, somebody between the ages of 55 and 65. So what's interesting over there is they've grown, and the very wealthy people over there are very newly wealthy. They uh, acquired most of their wealth during a very risky time in Russia. Um, and what they're trying to do now is move those asset, move into asset classes that are a lot less risky. Americans were finding, many, many of the family offices and investors we're talking to are interested in high growth opportunities in fairly stable economies, in geopolitical um, areas. And Russia is one of those areas that's got a high growth potential and a stable government. And so you're, what you're seeing is just capital is starting to move back and forth between the United States and, and Russia.